let's take a look at the formulas for the central limit theorem um, uh, for, for Google Sheets. And on this one, you'll be given the mean, you'll be given a standard deviation, and uh, you'll also be given the n. How many are you talking about? Okay, so they may tell you that the mu is equal to, um, let's say, 30. Standard deviation is equal to 3. And uh, we're taking a look at uh, 20, 20 people. Now, this is assuming all of our conditions that allow you to use central limit, central limit theorem are true. And so we're looking at the less than case. So probability that x is less than um, 20, 27, 0.3. Typically, that's written as x-bar. I just don't know how to print x-bar in Google Sheets. <laughs> that's referring to the sample sample mean. Uh, probably the sample mean is less than 27.3. That could be less than or less than or equal to the same formula. Okay, so that tells us we're going to do norm dist. So norm dist, beginning parentheses. And we got our x, which is 27.3, comma, our mean, which is 30, comma, our standard deviation, which is 3, divided by square root of n, which is 20. And um, then true. Okay, so that's how we put it in. So equals norm dot dist, uh, begin parentheses, 27.3. Uh, that was our value they gave us. And then our comma, our mean, comma, standard deviation divided by square root, and that's always SQRT, beginning parentheses, whatever n is, closing parentheses, comma, true. And that's our answer. Now, let's say the probability of x is greater than uh, 31.5. Again, that's usually represented as x bar, but I can't do the sample means um, notation here. This is the greater than case. So a is going to be 31.5. This tells us to 1 minus equals 1 minus norm dist, beginning parentheses are A, and then all the rest. So A is 31.5, comma, our mean, which is 30, comma, our standard deviation, which is 3, divided by the square root, doesn't have to be all uppercase, as you can see, of N, which is 20, closing parentheses, comma, true. It's a little bit tricky. Make sure all, all the closing parentheses are in the right place, commas in the right place, but that should be your form. And then you press enter. And then our last example. It's where, excuse me, it's between two values. Again, that should be x bar there instead of x, but. Um, So it's like that. So between two values. A's are a smaller value, B's are a larger value. So A is equal to 28.5 and B is equal to 30.7. Equals norm dot dist, beginning parentheses. Uh, B means standard deviation above a square root of n, true. So B, B is 30.7 comma our mean, which is 30, comma standard deviation, which is 3, divided by the square root of n, square root of 20, comma true, close parentheses, minus norm dist, and second part of the formula is a, then mean, standard deviation, divided by square root of n, true. A, what was a? 28.5, comma mean, which is 30, comma, standard deviation, which is 3, divided by a square root of n, which is, again, 20, close parentheses, comma, true, 
and then close parentheses. So that's uh, what it should look like with all the parentheses and commas and everything put in there. And then press enter. And that's our answer. And that's how you find the, um, the percentage, proportion, probability, area, um, using the central limit theorem um, in Google Sheets.